Hello girls, so I just went to the mall and I have a Lush haul for you girls and I have been super obsessed with Lush. It's my favorite store and I strictly went to the mall just because of Lush. So I have some goodies to show you and this will be an exciting haul for my viewers especially if you love Lush because I have a surprise at the end alright so let's get started and I'm going to first start off with the bath bombs alright first off I have this one right here and it is called Sakura and it has these blue pop rocks at the top they say it is pop rocks but it is definitely salt and it's just white and it has these blue specks going all around and they also have some faint red ones as well it has this faint citrus scent to it very clean very fresh I love this one it smells really good and this was six dollars and thirty five cents Next, I have Avo Bath, and it is just this plain lime green color, and it has the Lush logo at the top, and I love this scent. This one has lemongrass in it, which I love. I love the smell of the lemongrass. If you ever tried the Stepping Stone from Lush, it's for your feet. It smells just like this a citrusy fresh clean scent and this one was $6.25 next I have big blue and it's this beautiful light blue color and on top it has this white circle on top and it looks like there's some salt in there and then poking out are um, some seaweed some seaweed bits so there is seaweed inside of here. And this one is supposed to smell like the ocean. It smells kind of like laundry detergent, but in a good way. And it has a citrusy scent to it. Seaweed is good for your skin, so I was curious to try this out. The Big Blue was $6.35. And all of these products I'm about to show you or I have shown you, I've never tried. So it's going to be an exciting experience for me. And then I got the Space Girl Bath Bomb. It's like in the shape of a planet. And it has gold and red glitter up top. That is super cute. And it's and in the color of this bath bomb is like a light, light lavender blue color. And this one smells kind of like the comforter, but but it's more subtle sweet scent. And the Space Girl bath bomb was $4.95. The last bath bomb I got is from the Valentine's Day collection. So it is limited edition. It is called the X Factor. Super cute. It is a blue ginger man in shape of your ex-boyfriend. And it has a cute pink heart. I'm not going to use this as a voodoo doll, which you are supposed to use as. So you can break off its legs, hands, head, and just throw it into the bath as if you were mad at your ex on Valentine's Day. Like an off vanilla scent. I don't know what else it smells like too, but it's very, very, very subtle. And this was $4.95. And now I'm moving on to the bubble bars. I only got two. So the first bubble bar I got is Sunny Side. And I'm not going to take it out because it is very, very, very glittery. It has glitter all over. But it looks like this it is very glittery. When I smelled it, it reminded me of Coke. Like a subtle Coke scent. I heard that it's supposed to make your bath look like liquid gold so I'm very very curious to try this one out and this one was six dollars and ninety five cents 
And the last bubble bar I got is a Mondo Pondo. It's just white and it has a flower on top inside. This one is not supposed to have any glitter on it, but it was next to the sunny side bubble bars, so some of the glitter got on it. And this one has a subtle sweet scent to it. And this one I can barely smell. This one was $7.95. And then I got one bath melt. And this is the mm, bath melt. And it's just pink. It has some glitter on it because um, some of the sunny side got on it. It smells just like the Snow Fairy lip tint. Like a very sweet bubblegum scent. And this was... $7.95 and then I got one little chunk of soap and it is called the Love Bird Soap and this one cost $3.91 so it just looks like this it's really small it says luxuriously creamy vanilla jasmine and lemongrass soap so let me open it for you girls and if you see this whole soap all together, it is so pretty. It has these two um, little birds, and then there's flowers and just vines and everything. It's so cute. But this chunk of soap is not a good rep a representation of what I just said. But this is my little design. I got um, the little vine. Um, I do not know what jasmine smells like, so I don't know... Um, if what I'm smelling is jasmine or or whatnot. But I do smell a hint of lemongrass. Like it said, I can smell that. But I cannot smell the vanilla in here. I can smell a little bit of caffeine. Even though caffeine isn't a scent, I, I don't know why. I can smell like a like a bubbly sensation inside of here. Like a hint of coke in here. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I smell. It's from the Valentine's Day collection. So definitely get your hands on this and smell it. And you hurry up and get it since it is um, limited edition. Next, I got some hair products. And I got the Hair Doctor. And I got this because my hair has been so, 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 so flaky. And I just took a shower today and before I went to the mall and I was in the car scratching my hair and it was just like dandruff just falling all over and it was really disgusting. I think it's due to the cold weather and my scalp is just all dried up. So I got the hair doctor and hopefully this will help with my flakiness. And this is what the product looks like inside. It's super shiny. It's, you can tell it's brand spanking new. And it has a subtle minty smell to it. And she told me that um, this, when you put it on, it will uh, make my scalp feel all tingly. So that's cool. And this is supposed to be kept in the fridge. Right here was... $12.95. The next hair product I got... She wrapped it up like so and it is a henna hair dye and I got the caca maroon and this one is supposed to make your hair have like a reddish tint to it but since my hair is super super jet black dark I don't know how it is going to turn out so I'm really curious and I'm not going to put this all in my hair. What I'm planning to do is just do um, the under layers. Just do the bottom layers so it will be kind of like um, kind of like peekaboo peek streaks. Like just right here. I don't want to do my whole head because I've never dyed my hair before. And I don't know how the results will turn out with um, this one. And as you can see, it's like these chocolate bars and then these little lines in them. And I think it's really cool how it looks. It doesn't smell too bad. It has like a spicy meat scent to it. I think it's going to smell bad once I start, you know, mixing it with the um, water and stuff and putting it in my hair. But I'm going to try this out uh, probably next week 
and I'm thinking of just using one little slice of bar just to test it out. And then I'm thinking during spring break if I really like the if I really like the results how it looks like underneath here, I'm going to do my whole head. So I don't know what I'm going to do. It depends on the results and how it looks like. So if you want to see a demo on how I use this for my bottom layers, then leave a comment below. And I can definitely do a demo for you girls. And this is really huge. It's going to be my first time dyeing my hair. And I wanted to buy this because I think I need a change. Because I've had black hair throughout my whole life. And I think it's time to spice it up a bit. And this right here for this huge piece was $22.95. And she also gave me um, this piece of paper of the instructions on how to use it and whatnot. And then I got two samples that I requested. I got the Ocean Salt because I heard a lot of people on YouTube rave about this product and I, and I wanted to try it out. And she packed it really well. This is a good amount of sample right here. And this is a body and face scrub. But since I have sensitive skin, she said to um, just use this once a week on my face. Then I got another sample, which is the 9 to 5 lotion cleanser. It's very liquidy and runny. Then I got one last product for my subscribers. And it is this shower gel called It's Raining Man. And if you know anything about Lush, you know that everybody is going crazy over this shower gel. And this is supposed to be um, a shower gel form of Honey I Wash the Kids. But I smelt it in the store and to me it does not smell like Honey I Wash the Kids at all. It, it is more sweeter and I do not smell the honey. But that's just me. Um... A lot of people say that um, it is an exact, exact dupe for Honey Wash the Kids, but I have to disagree. But anywho, I got this for you guys, and I've been talking about um, my contest, and I've talked with Mandy about it, and we decided that um, the contest is going to be held in April because that is the next time I'll be able to see her. And that is going to be during spring break. So she's going to come over at my house and we're going to film the video and film the contest, um, the contest video and tell you girls about, um, you know, the rules and whatnot. And this will be a prize. So I got this for you guys for my first contest is going to be more focused on um, bath products. So there's going to be a lot of Lush in there. And if you love Lush, definitely look out for that video and enter. And this is limited edition, so that is why I wanted to pick it up for you. This right here is the medium size. And this was $16.95 for the 250 milliliters. And that is it for my massive, huge Lush haul. But one thing I want to show you is this Lush party that they are having in, a, in about two weeks. It is this R&B Lush party. And it is a dance party. And it will be held on Saturday, February 26th, um, all day in your Lush store, wherever you're at. And I am definitely going to go with my friend to this party. It will be my first Lush party. So I'm very excited. This is what the back looks like. So if you go, you'll get um, a little piece of the Jungle Solid Conditioner. So I'm looking forward to getting that. And that is it for my Lush haul. I hope you enjoyed. And I cannot wait for this contest to happen. Comment down below if you want to see my Lush collection. I've been thinking about doing it, but I'm not sure if my viewers really like Lush. I personally love Lush. So if you want to see that, please comment down below. And I'll talk to you girls later. Bye!